I look in the world of 2016 as we come to the end of 2016 and, and, and we're moving into 2017 and I think if I was brand new, what would I be doing? And number one, I'd be hooking up with the number one agent. That simple. I think that um, the number one agents are doing something right. And I don't mean number two, number five, number 10, number one in your office, my friends. Who is the number one agent and how can you connect with them? If you look at the National Association of Realtors, the average realtor closes 11 homes a year, right? And it's going down, my friends. It's not going up. And so what I would tell you based on that is, I don't wanna be average. And so if I was starting as a brand new agent in 2016's 2017 world, I'd find the number one agent and I'd say, I wanna just follow you. I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna help you out. I will be your transaction coordinator. I will do your paperwork. I will go get you coffee. I will do whatever you need me to do and run errands because I wanna learn from you. Um, that's what I want. So that would be my number one. That's what I would do tomorrow, number one. Number two, I would watch every single one, and this is a little self-promotion, I know, but every single one of the Ask Ty videos. It's that simple. What I found when I got into real estate was I hooked up with the number one realtor, and there were a lot of great things I did learn from them. I did. However, there are a lot of things I noticed that I hated about them um, on how I wanted to represent myself, how I wanted to build my business, and that they just said, oh no, I don't do it that way because of this, and they really didn't have any meaning behind it, and I knew they were wrong, and so I think that the Ask Ty videos and the Ty's 35, and I think I articulate some of the things that maybe some top producers would probably never do that actually are gonna give your client the service and the level of attention that they deserve. So I'd watch not one, but every video. I'd say I'm gonna watch two videos of Tyler's, once when I drink coffee in the morning, and once before I go to bed. I'm just gonna watch two videos a day, that simple. I think I have, how many videos I have, guys? A lot, I guess. So <laughs> it might take you a little bit to watch them, hundreds, but not that many. You can get through them. So that's the number two thing I do. The number three thing, right, the third thing I would do is I would actually create a business plan, right? How much money do you want to make? That simple. How much do you want to make? If you don't know how much you want to make, you're not going to have a driver. And not even how much money you want to make, really beyond that is what is your why? And I'll link up some videos below here that I've done videos on, what is your why, on how to do a business plan. I think those are the three things I would focus on tomorrow, 2000, end of 2016, beginning of 2017, what I would do as a brand new realtor. Oh, wait, time out. The fourth thing, I just thought about something is, so many times you're going to do all these things and you're gonna be ready and you're gonna have a buyer and you're gonna be ready to roll. And the problem is you're not gonna have confidence, right? Confidence in the contract. I have to really press on, know your contract, guys. I mean, that's like a doctor doing surgery and not knowing where to make the incision at. I mean, it's that simple. Do your homework, understand the contract. So when you do all the cool stuff that I just told you to do and you have a buyer or you have a seller, you don't lose out because you're not competent in your knowledge and your, your, in, in knowing how to write an offer, knowing how to negotiate, those types of things. Good luck. <laughs>